students and welcome in the online session of class 8 science lesson force and pressure let's see the learning objectives today we'll cover the topics force and types of force today in the session so let's start first with the introduction to force as we all know that force is a push or pull by an object on the another object push means whenever any object is forced away from the body then it is called push and if anything is taken towards the body it is called pull so force is nothing but the push or pull by any object on the another object and for this reason only it is said that force is the interaction of the two substances that means for the force to occur two substances are required one who is applying the force and the other one on which the force is applied for example see the diagram first here a ball a boy has kicked the ball up in the air so now the two objects are one is the boy who is applying the push on the ball and the other substance is the ball on which the force is applied so it is an interaction between the two substances if you see this diagram here also a boy is playing with the ball and there is a bat in the hands so the boy is pushing the ball away from himself that's why here also there is interaction between the two substances one is the bat and the other one is the ball so the boy is pushing the ball away from himself with the help of this bat so force is actually applied by the boy with the help of the bat on the ball okay and if you see the third diagram here here two people they are doing tug of war everyone knows what is tug of war okay you can see this is the midpoint and they both are holding the rope this first this is first person and this is second person so first person is pulling the rope towards himself and second person is also pulling the rope towards himself means again they both are pulling the rope towards themselves so they are applying the force that means they are applying the force on this rope okay so these are some of the examples of force so at last how can we say that what is force force is nothing but simply a push or pull by any object on the another objects okay and for this two substances are required both the substances are interacting with each other now let's move on to the next slide and see now again let us see some of the characteristics of force so the first thing is that force is nothing but a push or pull of the object okay which i have explained you now only now the next very important thing about force is that it has both magnitude and direction suppose here this is a ball which is kicked by any person suppose in this direction okay so now when the force is applied this force has some value suppose i say that the force applied is 5 newton so this 5 newton is what it is the magnitude of the force that means the force has some value okay like when we say 5 kilometers 10 kilometers this is what this is magnitude of length so force also has magnitude we can measure how much force is applied on the object so phi newton is the magnitude and second thing force is also having direction that means if it is force is applied on the left direction like this if suppose the force is applied in this direction it may possible that force is applied in the upward direction or the force can be applied in downward direction so force has a direction and magnitude as well okay now the third one is the strength of the force is explained expressed in magnitude how much force is applied on the object this we can come to know with the help of its magnitude like here i have given the example that 5 newton force is applied on the force on the ball now newton here is the unit of force newton is the unit of the force so every force applied has its magnitude as well as its direction okay then for example hitting a ball when a ball is hit then also the force 
applied has its magnitude as well as ball is hit in some or the other particular direction so that force has direction also as well as magnitude kicking when we kick something then also the force applied has magnitude and direction now stretching a belt when a belt is stretched so we stretch the belt in some direction and whatever force we are applying that can be measured that means force has magnitude also okay so here in the diagram you can see that both the push and the pull are shown here you can see here that there are two monkey uh, two monkeys what they are doing they are pulling and pushing the cow so the one who is pulling the rope towards himself that is called a pull means he is pulling the cow and the second one the second monkey is pushing the cow in this direction okay here also pull is in this direction and push is also in the same direction fine so they both are applying force on the cow so that the cow can move from its position okay and here you can see that to stretch something again then force is applied fine now let's see the next slide that is types of forces now the first type there are mainly two types of forces one is contact force and the other one is non contact force so let's see the first type which is a contact force okay as the name only suggest contact that means we know that whenever a force is applied two substances minimum are required so when the two substances are in contact with each other then the force applied is called the contact force okay so let's see the definition force that can be applied only when it is in contact with an object means both the objects should touch each other when they are in contact with each other then the force applied is known as the contact force okay now see the examples here the first one is here you can see a man is holding the weight okay so now you can see the man is holding the weight with the hands that means the hands are in contact with the weight which is carried okay so they are touching the man is touching the weight that's why the force is the contact force okay and because it is applied by the muscles so it is called the muscular force this we'll discuss later then the next one you can see the boy is applying force on the rope and the rope is in the hands that means both the objects are in contact with each other that's why again it's an example of contact force third one here you can see frictional force the boy is moving on the uh, road fine so what is happening here now the boy and the surface they both are in contact with each other so the force applied will be again in example of contact force so now all these types uh, muscular mechanical frictional we are going to study later fine now let's see the next uh, main type of force is non contact force non contact force means that when the two substances are not in contact and the force applied is from a distance okay both the substances are not in contact with each other that time the force is called non contact force now here you can see the first example gravitational force gravitational force means it is the push or pull of the earth okay so if a person dives from the aeroplane or dives from a height so the person will fall down due to the gravitational force so because now earth and the person is not in contact with each other but still the force is working so it is the example of non contact force then electrostatic force this activity you might have done everyone right when you rub a comb or a balloon or a scale on the hairs and after some time you'll see if you bring that charged comb near to the bits of paper these paper are attracted towards the comb okay so this force is acting on the bits of paper and it is the electrostatic force okay and papers are lying on the surface and comb you have to keep on at a little distance above the ground but still they attract but still the uh, charged comb will attract the papers so it's an example of non contact force and then third type is magnetic force magnetic force magnet attracts the things from a distance so this is also an example of non contact force okay so um, what we discussed that uh, forces are of two main types one is contact force and the other one is non contact force okay now let's see one by one 
the types now first we are taking the types of contact forces so first one here is the muscular force right muscular force means the force which results due to the action of muscles the force which is applied by the muscles that is known as muscles of the humans or muscles of the animals or any bird anyone so force exerted by the muscles is known as the muscular force for example writing here when someone writes what we do we are holding a pencil in our hand and we are forcing the pencil with the hand so that we can write some letters that means we are applying the force by our muscles by the muscles of the hand so this is the example of muscular force now cutting vegetables when vegetables are cut again we are applying force with our hands the muscles of our hands are working there so that is also an example of muscular force okay here in the diagrams you can see the person is cycling okay so here the muscles of the legs are working more muscles of the hands are also working but more work is of muscles of the legs so it is an example of again muscular force here you can see again a man is doing weight lifting so uh, the muscles of the hand are working here actually the whole body muscles are working here so it is again an example of muscular force okay uh, next one is now frictional force frictional force now let us first discuss that what is friction okay so you in the diagram here you can see that the girl is walking running and then she slipped down like this so why this happens sometimes when while running we fall but most of the times we don't okay if a surface is oily or watery we generally slip down and if it is a rough surface we don't okay so this is all because of friction friction is the force which acts when we are in contact with the surface okay so friction means the force which uh, which is produced when two surfaces are in contact with each other and when the two surfaces are rubbing against each other okay friction comes due to rubbing fine if suppose there is a box here this is the surface and there is a box lying on the uh, surface like this fine and if someone is pulling the box in this direction okay there is a boy who is pulling the uh, box in this direction so what will happen now you can see here that uh, this surface of the box is in contact with the ground okay it is in contact with the ground so here this at this point they both are in contact with the air Uh, uh, they both are in contact with each other so they are rubbing against each other so because of the rubbing frictional force is produced and this force is acting always in the direction opposite to the direction of motion now box was pulled this side so box will move this side but friction will act in opposite direction so this is what frictional force which is acting in opposite direction and here is your pull which the boy is pulling this side but the frictional force is acting in opposite direction of the pull okay so let us see the def uh, definition now the force of friction always acts on all the moving objects whenever a substance or any body is moving then moving objects always have to face the frictional force and the direction of the frictional force is always opposite to the direction of motion if suppose you are walking towards north side that means the frictional force will be acting towards south opposite to the direction of motion okay now a rough surface applies more frictional force than a smooth surface okay this line is very important whenever the surface is rough frictional force is more why because on the rough surface when the object will be rubbed against the rough surface more force will be applied and more frictional force will be produced okay but if the surface is smooth what will happen if the surface is smooth the object will easily slip down because the frictional force is le uh, less the rubbing is le uh, less okay so a rough surface has more frictional force than a smooth surface fine right? so how can we define frictional force now frictional force is the force which is acting on all the moving objects and its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion means suppose the girl is running this side so frictional force will be working in opposite direction like this and it is very true that frictional force helps us to walk to run 
to jump all this we can do only because of frictional force frictional force balance us okay but a rough surface keep in mind that a rough surface has always more frictional force than a smooth surface okay i'll just give you an example that you play ca uh, carom right you play carom board like this and you have small stickers or small carom rolls like this which you are sliding on the uh, carom board okay sometimes what happen you are applying force from this side but they are, but they are not moving okay these balls are not moving actually why because the surface becomes rough surface becomes rough here everywhere the surface becomes uh, rough and the frictional force increases and when frictional force increases it is difficult for the ball to move so what we do we uh, use powder here everyone knows that a powder is used on the carom board so that the balls can slip easily fine so when the powder is used on the carom board what will happen the frictional force will reduce and the balls can be easily slipped down then fine and why we slip on the oily surface because the surface is oily it becomes very smooth and due to it frictional force reduces and we slip down okay on the watery surface also the same reason is applicable fine so this is about the frictional force now let's move on to the next uh, type of force that is non contact force uh, amongst non contact force let us see first the gravitational force fine uh, now a diagram you can see on the slide here uh, apple or any of the fruit which you like suppose is falling from the tree so why always the fruit falls down why it is not going in upward direction okay why it is falling down it is falling down due to the gravitational force which is applied by the earth now earth pulls everything towards itself and that is called the gravitational force so how can we define the force which is exerted by the earth to pull the objects towards itself is called the force of gravity fine now the next one is magnetic force this is also a non contact force because the two substances are in are not in contact but still the force is acting so magnetic force is uh, simply the force which is exerted by a magnet to pull or push a metallic object remember pull or push because opposite poles of the magnet attract each other whereas same poles always repel each other so both the things can be done by the magnet a magnet can pull also and a magnet can push also right so that force applied by the magnet is called a magnetic force now the next uh, type of non contact force is the electrostatic force electrostatic force as we have discussed little bit before that this force is exerted by a charged body on another charged or uncharged body is the electrostatic force whenever you rub the comb on the hairs on the dry hair especially then what happens the comb get charged the comb get charged it gets electrons it get charged and when this comb is brought near the bits of paper it will attract these bits of paper and this force by which it is attracting is called the electrostatic force fine so only uh, this force can be shown only by a charged body a charged body can only attract the other things but this force is a very weak force students and it only last for very few seconds it is only for a few seconds after few seconds what will happen the force will reduce and all the paper will fall down okay now in the second example you can see that if you rub the balloon inflated balloon on the hairs and then if you uh, bring the balloon near to the wall what will happen the balloon sticks to the wall fine nowadays uh, this method is used in the birthday parties at home also how to uh, attach the balloon on to the uh, walls so tapes are not used nowadays what the uh, what the children are doing they are just rubbing the inflated balloons on the hairs and they stick the balloon on the wall fine you can see here the charges now when it is rubbed this balloon gets negative charge here and the wall from this side is positive charge so this get attracted positive negative gets attracted fine so this is an electrostatic force but it will last for few minutes or few seconds only after some time the ball will uh, this balloon will definitely fall down okay so this is electrostatic force which is a type of non contact force okay 
so now let us summarize what we have done today so today we have seen firstly that what is a force force is nothing but a push or pull which is applied by an object on the another object then we discussed about the various types of forces so there are two main types one is contact force and other one is non contact forces fine what is contact force now forces which is experienced by bodies when they are in physical contact with each other fine contact force means the force which is applied when the two substances or the two bodies they are in contact with each other and what is non contact force it is the force which is experienced by bodies when they are not in physical contact with each other fine uh, some types of contact forces are one is muscular when the uh, force applied by the muscles of the humans then it is called the muscular force here you can see two people they are uh, pushing the box so they are using the force applied by the muscles of their hands so it's a muscular force then frictional force as i told you that this frictional force now see suppose this box is pulled towards this side okay this is shown by the arrow motion is in this side so friction will always act in the opposite direction to motion and this is due to the rubbing of the rubbing between the surface of the box and the ground surface here is the rubbing and due to which this frictional force is produced okay so the force acting opposite to the direction of motion is the frictional force so these two types of contact forces we have studied then in non contact forces we have understood the first one which is magnetic which the force exerted by the magnet then electrostatic the force which is exerted by a charged body on another charged body or uncharged body and the third one we have studied the gravitational force that means the attractive force which is uh, exerting between the two objects between the two objects and one should be earth okay so earth pulls everything towards itself which is known as a gravitational force okay you know how moon is revolving around the earth this is also because of the gravitational force of the earth fine all the uh, bodies which are present in the space in the universe they all have the gravitational forces even we also have the gravitational force we also attract the earth but you know earth is very big in size if compared to us so our gravitational force becomes negligible zero in front of the gravitational force of the earth more the size of the object more will be the gravitational force okay so uh, this was all about today's session so we'll meet in the next session uh, till then stay home stay safe and take care